This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Domain.com. All right, so today I'm on a mission to debunk five myths surrounding your device's battery life. It's not so much as a complete myth per se as it is partial truths that can get you into trouble. Just like when your woman asks you, Do I still look good in this dress? <sighs> yeah, you look fantastic. <laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> So in relationships, partial truths may help things along, but in tech, not so much. So let's debunk myth number one, and that is that you shouldn't charge your device overnight. Now, modern devices today are able to protect themselves from overcharging or overheating for the most part. But here is the grain of truth to this myth. Ideally, if you want to extend the life of your battery to the maximum, you don't want to charge the device to 100% nor drain the device's battery to 0%. This is because doing so will shorten the life of your battery. Now, do I do it? No. Uh, I have a life, I just charge it and I don't worry about it. It's really not that big of a deal unless you really want to use this battery or the device for you know three years or something like that. Otherwise, you shouldn't have a problem. Number two, don't use your device while it's charging. Now this myth has really been perpetuated by reports of phones blowing up in someone's hand or face while they were using it and charging it at the same time. Now, Although this can happen, it is by far the exception and not the rule, and it's almost certainly not going to happen uh, because you're just simply charging it and talking with it. And the third myth is that you shouldn't use third-party chargers. Well, you should know there's some great quality, even reliable third-party chargers out there, but it is generally accepted that third-party chargers will not charge as well or fast as proprietary chargers directly from the phone's manufacturer. You also want to be careful to ensure that the charging capacity of the charger is consistent with the needs of your phone. Sometimes there can be a mismatch there and that could lead to problems. The other issue with some third-party chargers is quality issues. You could have a wire that's frayed or frays very easily and now you have a whole fire hazard. So you want to be careful of that. Just do your basic due diligence. Check on reviews, do your research, and you can find a very good quality third-party charger out there. Number four, and it's hard to believe this is a myth at all, but the myth is that it won't hurt to leave your device in the car or exposed to the elements. Hmm. All right, seems painfully obvious, but clearly it's an issue for some people. You do not want to leave your device in a car exposed to extreme temperatures, whether it's extreme cold or extreme hot. And obviously you don't want any rain or even condensation to get in the device because over time that may short out the electronics in the phone and you want to be careful with that. At least, if you're going to keep your device in the car on a very, very hot and sunny day, keep it under the seat or in a cupboard where it's not going to be exposed to the sun. It will not survive it. And the fifth myth, and it's a big one, you have to let your battery drain to 0% before you charge it again. Now this myth comes from rechargeable batteries. You know the ones you would get for your electronics, those double A's and triple A's? Well those did have to be fully drained before you could recharge them again. Doing otherwise would lessen the capacity of that battery's charge. But batteries have evolved. That is not an issue anymore. You most certainly do not need to drain your battery to 0% before you charge it again. On the contrary, you want to avoid draining to 0% as much as reasonably possible. Now I know that some of you geeks out there have dreams, dreams of running your own YouTube channel or website or business or whatever it is. And one of the first steps is to secure the domain name, lock that down so no one else can get it. And with all the new domain name extensions that have been released, the possibilities are endless. Because it's not just about .com, .net, or .org anymore, you now have the opportunity to name your site and build your brands in ways never before possible. Choose from a growing list of 200 plus domain name extensions like .ninja, .nyc, .expert, or .club, all available now at domain.com. And the guys at domain.com have a great offer for all of us. You can save 15% off on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code Android at domain.com checkout. Don't forget 15% off when you use our coupon code Android. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace, but I gotta tell you, no one has contacted me yet here to give me their address. The guy who won the t-shirt uh, two days ago with the domain name thedroidyourlookingfor.com. 
fantastic creative choice, by the way, has not contacted me with his address or her address, so I can't send you the t-shirt. So I'm gonna give you a couple more days. I'm gonna contact you myself. Give me your address, please, and I'll send you a t-shirt. You don't forget about my brothers and Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja, Kevin Monty, Chris, Gary, and Ash, and Taylor, all working real hard to be your source for all things Android.